Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have something extremely exciting. I went to Sephora today and picked up some rare beauty. I'm extremely excited to dive into this. Before we test it out on my face, I do want to go over a little pricing and what I got. I was not able to get everything, but I did get a good bit of stuff. The first thing that I did get is the rare beauty. Um... Always an Optimus Base Illuminous. So this is a Illuminous Primer. This packaging. Oh my god, it's just so cute. So this is what the mini primer looks like. This retails for $14. A little rare beauty. And you take the lid off and it's just a pump. So we're gonna actually go ahead and start with this. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Oh, she has color to her. So this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. So this is a cooling water-based gel primer that smooths, hydrates, and illuminates skin, prepping you for makeup that looks and feels its best all day. Also, sorry if the lighting gets a little weird-ish. Um, we have a tornado warning and like thunderstorms and all that other stuff. So the lighting looks a little weird, I'm sorry. So we are going to go ahead and apply this. Um, so far this has a very kind of liquidy um, finish. I don't really know where to apply this. <laughs> it's kind of like an all over, so I guess I'm putting it in those parts that I would like hydrated. I do feel a lot more smoother where I did put this, and I, I do feel like, like a base, like I'm ready to put my foundation on. So now we're gonna move on to foundation. So here we have the Liquid Touch Foundation. Um, I got the shade 130N, and this is a foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. There's 1.0 fluid ounce in here, which is standard. So this is what the foundation looks like, and as you can see, you have the Rare Beauty on here. I will say, this foundation is extremely liquidy. Um, this is what the doe foot kind of looks like. I am gonna go ahead and put this on my face because it is very liquidy. So if you don't really like the liquidness of foundations, I don't know if you're gonna like this. So we're just gonna apply this. So this is what we are working with and now we're gonna do a little blend. I'm taking just a Morphe sponge. Um, she had a sponge but I didn't get the sponge and we're just gonna pounce this in. So far, this is amazing. I cannot get over this. I know I don't have it all blended out. Oh my god. I am shook. Um, I don't- oh my god, this looks so good. First of all, this is a really good shade for me. I know I feel like I look a little white, but like compared to my neck, this is such a good shade for me. I've never had a foundation like like this. Oh my God. I have really, really dry skin. So any matte foundations, I don't like this isn't matte, but oh my God, this is so good. I literally, I cannot, oh my God. Yeah, the uh, weightless foundation is $29. And like, I don't even feel like I have anything on. I can't get over this. Oh my god and like obviously i'm probably gonna have to put powder on like my spots where i crease but oh my god this is so good this foundation is um definitely approved by me oh my god this is amazing um next we have her concealer i got it in a shade lighter because that's how i like my concealers this is what we have here they all have kind of the same packaging except when it comes to the lip stuff so we're gonna give her an open here. And um, it also has like the numbers on the back and on the top of all her packaging. The concealer is about like the same packaging. Um, still the little rare beauty. And you just take it. And you have this um, different type of a doe foot on the end. Um, let's go ahead and try this. Okay, she, um, yet again, very liquidy. Yet again, taking my same beauty sponge and I'm just gonna blend it out. This is blending out really well. This is insane. Her skin products, oh my God. 
This is everything, man. I didn't think they were gonna be like this good. Like I thought they were gonna be good, but I was not expecting this good. I am gonna go ahead and set my face and with some like random loose powder and then we'll come back for the eyebrows okay so i just put a little bit of powder like right in here because i do have a bunch of other creams to put on to finish my face but we're gonna go move it on to eyebrows so this is the brow harmony pencil and gel it's a dual ended waterproof pencil and tinted brow gel with a precision brush to sculpt and set um so this is gonna what it looks like this has weight to it. So you have the rare beauty in the middle. Really hope you're seeing all of this stuff. Um, and then on this end, you have the brow finer. And then on the other side, you have the brow gel. So we're gonna go ahead and do our eyebrows with this. Okay, um, I will say, um, if you don't have a lot of brow hairs and you want thinner brows, I don't know if you're going to like this a whole lot. This is extremely pigmented. Okay, so it is kind of a one eyebrow down. Like I said, if you want like really like thinner brows, I don't know if you're going to like this just because of how it's shaped. Okay, so um, these are the brows that I have. Don't mind them too much. They're definitely not even. Um, <laughs> my brows never really seem to be, no matter what brow pencil I will ever use. Um, I will say that it kind of gets on the white. I mean, that's easy. You just kind of take your fingers and clean it. It was such a simple swatch that I did. Like I wasn't like pressing hard or anything and that is how thick it comes out. But I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of eyeshadow. She did not have eyeshadow, so. I can't do any eyeshadow by Rare Beauty. Hoping an eyeshadow palette comes out soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on eyeshadow and do a little contour, and then we'll be back for blush, highlight, and lips. So now we are going to move on to cheeks. Sephora actually hooked a girl up. I only had a certain amount that I could get, and I was debating whether or not I wanted the blush, but I decided to opt out. I just didn't know if I was gonna use it. I'm not really familiar with liquid blushes so I was really afraid but they hooked me up with a sample I guess if you bought X amount of rare beauty or really any rare beauty you get the samples so this is the little mini blush she's literally so cute I'm in love you also got this a nice little sample here it comes with primers and a couple foundation shades just gives you the back so I really like these samples, but I'm into the blush. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. And can we also take note? I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's so tiny. But Rare Beauty is even on the little one. That is insane. She puts this straight on her cheeks. So maybe we'll try that and then blend it out. Let's just do that. I don't know how to blend this out though. Do I use a sponge? Oh my god, that's pigmented. I'm gonna try to take my beauty blender. I'm more of a powder blush type of a girl. I just feel like they're better. But this isn't bad, I just apply too much. Okay, I think I kind of fixed it. I don't know. It's still just like a line. I don't, it's not a line on this side. On this side it is though. I think maybe with the highlighter it'll look a little better. One of the last things we do have is the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer. And I got the straight Enchant. Um, same thing, like the other containers. This will be a whole lot easier to work with. It comes with the same doe foot applicator. Okay, now we're gonna blend. Okay, this is pretty. I don't know if you can see it because of my lighting, but this is pretty. This is very pretty. And this is very easy to like work with. Um, I'm more of like a pow in your face kind of a highlighter, but um, let's do another layer just to see what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. That's better. And it's not disturbing the foundation underneath, which is good. Yeah, you can definitely see it. She is pretty. I like, I like this one a lot. Oh my god. Everything is so good. Oh my god. Now we have the last two things. We have the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm. 
So let's take a look at her first. So this is the packaging for the Dewey Lip Balms. And the, the lid is kind of like magnetic. And this is the shade. Let's just put her on, see how she is. This is perfect for me. This is what it looks like on. As you can tell, it's not like a, ooh, lip. And I like that. I have really bad anxiety and I tend to bite, pick, suck on my lips constantly. And I always have the issues of it looking really bad by the time I'm done wearing it because my lips, I'm constantly biting them off. But this is super pretty. I mean, obviously this is trans, not transfer proof. If I touch anything, it's gonna get everywhere. But this is so moisturizing. It's such a pretty color. Next we have the Lip Souffle in Cream. I got this shade Courage because it was more of a nude that I would wear. So yet again, everything is just very rare beauty. I mean, obviously it's the brand, but like everything about this is just so cute. And then here is what the doe foot looks like. I can't wait until these come in more colors that I would wear personally. Um, I feel like this isn't a shade that I necessarily would really, really wear, but um, I think it's really cute. I think I like the lip balm better for sure. I can't wait for a shade extension of this because this, I like the formula. Yet again, it's very movable. I think that's just what I want in lip stuff because the matte stuff just like picks off and then it like yeah, is nasty. But I really, really like this formula, but the shade I'm not in love with. I really would like a pinky nude in this because it's my favorite things to wear. But this is our full face in Rare Beauty. I know, we're done. So this is my full face of Rare Beauty. I do look a little light. I probably could have added more bronzer. But see, look, the blush and stuff doesn't look bad now. Now that I have everything on. The blush looks really nice actually now. I look so good in person. I look a little more white on camera than I actually am in real life. But does a girl look good oh my god this is so good i do want to do a little round up is that what they call it of everything we started off with the mini primer right here which was 14 dollars i like this i think it gave us a nice good base um and it did um I look pretty, I don't look dry, which is really, really nice, so I definitely like this. Next, we have the foundation. This was amazing. If you are not wanting to get this foundation because you feel like it's going to suck, change your mind. This is such a good foundation. My skin looks amazing, and like, normally I have issues with foundations. I don't like wearing them just because how dry and how my skin is it just like doesn't make my skin look smooth this makes my skin look like a dream I feel like I got a really really good shade I love this the foundation was $29 and I think this is definitely worth the $29 we have next is the little concealer here and it was $19 I really really like this um, I feel like it pairs good with everything else I don't know if I necessarily like it more than my shape tape, but it's definitely up there with shape tape. It's a different um, kind of formula, so everything is always like a dupe for shape tape. This isn't a dupe, but this is really, really, really good though. Like it does a nice good covering. I really like this. Next we did brows. I personally really, really like this. Um, the brow the pencil was $22. I think that's a good price for this. Um, I didn't use the eyebrow gel though, <laughs> I forgot. But um, the pencil was really great. The shade I got in soft brown, uh, warm brown, I think is amazing. I like this. 10 out of 10. Um, next was the blush. I think the blushes are the same as the highlighter, so like $20, $22 for the blush. I think it's fine once I figure out how, how to work it. It looks really pretty, but um, for me, it's a learning curve. This highlighter, this was amazing. The um, highlighter was $22. I really, really, really like this color. Um, you can also layer it for a more intense glow. I love the packaging. I love everything about this. This is, this is good. Next, we have the Lip Protex Cream, which is this, was $20, and then the Lip Balm was $16. I like the balm better than this, only because of the shades, but these were extremely good. This is really good. I'm so, so impressed. 
Like I have a lot of makeup. As you can see in my channel, I've reviewed a whole bunch of makeup. I have a whole bunch of drawers just full of makeup on my vanity. That's what this is. And everything I tried out today was so good. So this is my new favorite makeup brand, hands down. But um, I think that's it for today's video. I know, it's over. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. But before I see you all in the next one, go ahead and comment down below what your thoughts on Rare Beauty was, what you got, what you liked, what you didn't like, any of the above. Go ahead and like this video if you like Rare Beauty and Selena. And also go ahead and subscribe and turn on the little bell so you're notified when I post because I'm over here posting. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.